Hi, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for coming my state to come uh, visit my state. Today, I will introduce our international collaborative project between Japan and Mexico to mitigate tsunami disaster along the Pacific coast in Mexico. So now I'm showing the uh, very, very impressive figure which are uh, captured during the last uh, 2011 Tohoku Oki earthquake. So we have a serious, we, got, we, ha we have a serious damage due to this, especially tsunami. So as you know, in Japan, we have almost 1,000 seismic stations before the earthquake. But we can't, we couldn't predict the earthquake. And we failed to uh, reduce the tsunami disaster due to this earthquake. So especially the tsunami disaster was so serious in this event. Especially uh, we observed a very, very high tsunami after the earthquake showing here. So, I'm a seismologist from Kyoto University. And when earthquake occurred in 2011, I was in Sendai. Sendai is a very cold city uh, to the uh, epicenter of this earthquake. So, I was uh, seriously considering which kind of knowledge we lacked to mitigate the tsunami and the earthquake disaster. First one is we couldn't, we mean the seismologist couldn't uh, forecast the occurrence of the earthquake, unfortunately. If we know that, it's easy to, uh, probably easy to reduce this disaster. But unfortunately, it's not so easy at this stage based on our knowledge of the uh, earthquake mechanism. And of course, we need to know the other knowledge. For example, what will happen during the earthquake? This is possible. If, if we can uh, predict the future focal area of the earthquake, we can, we can say, oh, this, this is a, a future large earthquake area or something. And we need to know the other knowledge. This is uh, what will happen after the earthquake. Especially what, what, which kind of strong motion will be observed and which kind of tsunami could be observed after the earthquake. This is the uh, uh, most important uh, knowledge to uh, uh, reduction of the tsunami disaster. And of course, as a seismologist or a scientist, we'd like to know this kind of two issue, but we have to, we need to provide this kind of knowledge to the, uh, 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 people who are living in the, along the coastline. So we lacked this, this kind of three knowledge, so we had uh, serious damage after the earthquake in the 2011 Tohoku earthquake. So now I'm showing the uh, 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 two comparison, uh, comparison of the two uh, kind of predicted or observed a uh, huge seismic strip area. Left one is a kind of a prediction of uh, before the earthquake. Now, now we are showing some uh, area. This area a uh, predicted area of the future a large earthquake before the 2011 Tohoku earthquake. And this is a result. This is a actually observed huge seismic area after the uh, earthquake, due to the earthquake. This black line is especially stripped. Uh, shore have a huge strip. So we have a large discrepancy between the left figure and right figure. So this is caused by the, uh, uh, due to the uh, uh, lack of the seismic network on offshore especially. So based on the, this experiments, we propose a new project for Japanese government 
in this project, we will uh, fo focus of uh, even in the general gap. Gettle seismic gap is one of very, very famous seismic gap in the world. In this area, we are very, very worried about the uh, occurrence of the huge earthquake near future. So before the occurrence of the event, we'd like to know what happened actually due to the, uh, uh, in this area. So uh, we use uh, two kind of uh, two uh, Japanese uh, funding agency uh, to to get a uh, uh, science budget. Uh, one is a Japan Science and Technology Agency. The other one is Japan International Co uh, Cooperation Agency. Based on the do this, uh, uh, based on their help, we will do the this science. Our main purpose is to reduce the tsunami disaster in the Gator Gap. We are have a three, three, folk, uh, three working group. One is observation and monitoring of the earthquake, in which we will consider what happened in the Gator Gap in the future. And next group, group B, will provide the model of tsunami and earthquake. In this group, uh, we provide what happened due to the earthquake, in especially strong motion and the tsunami. In the group C, we will provide uh, information what will happen and how do we evacuate from tsunami, which are uh, based on the group A, from group B's knowledge, we can predict what happened after the earthquake. We will, not, we will provide this information to the uh, people who are living in, uh, in the coastline, in the ghetto gap. So the one of the typical uh, science in this project to know the what's ha what will happen in the ghetto gap by using the recent technology, which, are, which, which is an uh, ocean bottom instrument. By using this kind of ocean bottom instrument, we will know what will happen in the ghetto gap. We also, uh, we will apply our knowledge, which are developing in Japan to provide this kind of information to uh, people who are living in the coastline. Especially now, in Japan, we have uh, many, many outreach projects or many, many educational projects of uh, tsunami uh, disaster reduction. So now, we also uh, provide this kind of knowledge to the Mexican colleagues. So, by using this, uh, based on the, this project, we will provide our knowledge to the Mexico. But ultimate goal for me to mitigate of tsunami disaster or earthquake disaster. So this is not only for the Mexican quality, this is for, for Japanese quality. By using this knowledge, we will, uh, uh, we will, we, I hope, uh, uh, reduce the future tsunami disaster, especially in Nankai draft. In Nankai, we will have, uh, we are predicting the occurrence of the future large earthquake here. Thanks so much.